So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. I say that because it's a very short question, right? Simplify questions are typically one to three lines long. I also say that because I see this expression here, which can definitely be simplified. So the question says, which of the following is equivalent to the expression above? All right, so if I simplify this, so let's take this three, two X plus one and four X plus one. I first of all would want to foil this uh, product of binomials here. So again, FOIL, the F stands for multiplying the first thing here by the first thing there. So it gives me a, so let's keep my three here in parentheses. So 2X times 4X is 8X squared. And then the O represents multiplying the two outer things. So that's 2X times 1. Those are the two outside uh, values. So 2X times 1 is a positive 2X. I stands for multiplying the two inner terms. So that's 1 times 4X. That's a positive 4X. And L stands for multiplying the two last terms. So 1 times 1, which is just 1. So then I continue simplifying this and, I, and combining like terms. So 8X squared does not have a like term. But 2X plus 2X becomes 6 I'm sorry, 2X plus 4X becomes 6X. And then I have a plus 1 there. I close my parentheses. And then I look at my answer choices and I notice that none of them have the three out in front still. So now last part of simplification is to distribute this three across the uh, parentheses. So I'd have three times eight X squared, which is 24 X squared. And then three times six X, which is positive 18 X. And three times one, which is plus three. And that gives me choice C. All right, so just so that um, I can show you another way of getting here, I'm going to also show you that this is a good way to do plug in your own number. It's a, a good question to use the strategy plug in your own number. And I like this strategy, especially if you aren't really great at doing FOIL. Um, let's say um, there's a lot of multiplication here that you may make mistakes on. So, you know, and more importantly, Anytime you see a variable in the answer choices, it is wise to at least consider using plugging your own number. So again, I think simplify is the best method here. But let's say you got stuck, you did all this work, you couldn't, like the answer that you're coming up with is not listed as one of the answer choices, which means you probably made, or you definitely made a small mistake somewhere. This could be another option for you that gets you to the answer a bit faster. So the way that we use plugging your own number is that we create our own number. So because the variable we have here is X, I'm going to say X equals two. I typically always will use two unless the question tells me I can't. So if X equals two, that means my original question turns into three times instead of two X is two times two, which is four plus one. And instead of four X, it'd be four times two, which is eight plus one. So now I simplify this further. So I have three times five times nine. And uh, let's say nine times five is 45. So I have three times 45. Again, this is the non-calculator section. So you want to be careful with your math here. And just because of that, let's just say, I don't know what that is in my head. I can't do it in my head. I don't suggest you do it in your head anyway. Just write it out quickly here. Three times five is 15. Three times four is 12 plus one is one is 13. So this is equal to 135. Okay, so that's step one for plugging your own number. The next step is to then try the answer choices, plugging in the same number that you plugged into the question to see which one of those choices matches this 135 that we got. So choice A would be 45 times two. That is not equal to 135, so that's gone. Choice B would be 24 times two squared plus three. So this is 24 times four. And again, we don't have a calculator, so just be careful with this. Um, but once you do the math on the side, you would see that this is not equal 135. And then choice C, we have, again, 24 times two squared plus 18 times two plus three. And that one, once again, you do the math on the side. So this would be 24 times four 
plus 18 times 2 plus 3. Let's just do this one. So 24 times 4. So the way I try to do this in my head, although I'm not going to show you that. Well, I'll, so the way I do it in my head is just 20 times 4 is 80. 4 times 4 is 16. 80 plus 16 is 96. 18 times 2 is 36. So plus 3. And then 90 plus 30 is 120. One, 6 plus, so 90 plus 30, 120. 6 plus 6 is 12. 120 plus 12 is 132. Plus 3 is 135. So yes, that does match what I got. So further confirming, <clears throat> if I did it that way, or if I use the plug in your own number method, that confirms that choice C is the right answer. Um, again, I guess what I stop myself from doing here is just doing the work on the side, right? So you could always just do that yourself and figure out what these values are because we cannot use a calculator.